As the offensive on Mosul continues, we've been looking closely at what really happens around the city. And one of the things that we've been doing is using satellite imagery. In our latest set of satellite imagery, we've looked at the five bridges across the Tigris inside Mosul. Four out of these five bridges have been recently struck by coalition strikes uh, to basically limit the mobility of the Islamic State. At three out of four of these bridges that were struck, uh, we can clearly see that the the damage was done over land. Um, now, this was done specifically to make it easier to repair them after the battle for Mosul is over, uh, as obviously this, this location over land is easier to get to by construction crews than damage that is done over water. One of the four bridges was actually struck over water. The second bridge from the south, you can see that one section was completely removed. Now, if we look at the other bridges, though, um, if we start with the northernmost bridge, you can see the damage is clearly done over land. One very interesting thing that we see in the imagery here is that the Islamic State actually seems to be trying to repair the bridge already. We can see in the imagery that uh, mounds of soil are, have, have appeared near the gap that was struck in the bridge, um, and a vehicle that is potentially a, a bulldozer or earth-moving equipment. And... While it's not entirely clear how successful the Islamic State would be at restoring the functionality of the bridge, it seems like they are at least making an, an attempt to, to restore their logistical support of the battle in, in eastern Mosul. If we go further down to the middle bridge, the known as the Old Bridge in Mosul, this is the one bridge that was not struck. And this is actually a great picture that shows just how constraining the, the effect of these bombings is. And this is the situation that the Islamic State now has to deal with. They have to get through this immense traffic jam to move any type of equipment or personnel um, from West Mosul to East Mosul or the other way around. As, as the battle for Mosul continues, of course, we'll, we'll continue to look at what happens inside the city um, as well as around it, and we'll keep you guys posted.